Hello and welcome to this episode of Ask Raghav. Today we are going to see and learn how you can make your career in cloud testing and how you can become a cloud test engineer. Now I have been getting a lot of questions on this topic. One of the question was asked by Devesh and he says, could you please make a video about the cloud testing career path and how to become a cloud tester? So today I'm going to tell you the five stages, the five steps that you can take to make your career in cloud testing. The first one is you should have some knowledge and experience in testing and QA, and you should understand the testing process, the QA process, the methodologies, uh, how do we create test plans? How do we do test planning? How do we create tests, execute tests? And then how do we do bug tracking? How do we do test management? And this is very, very important because whether you are testing on cloud, whether you are using cloud services or not, the basic methodologies and process of testing, the tools, techniques are going to remain mostly the same. There may be some changes in the tools, but the basic processes are going to remain same. And along with the experience of QA and testing, if you also have some knowledge and experience of CI, CD tools and DevOps tools and processes, that will really help you to take the next step in making your career in cloud testing. Now, once you gain some experience in the testing field, the next thing that you can do is start learning about the cloud platforms. Now, the three basic, the three main common cloud, cloud platforms that we commonly use are uh, Amazon Web Services, AWS. Then we have Google Cloud Platform and we have Microsoft Azure. So if you have already worked or if you have some understanding of, of any of these, that is good. Otherwise, you can... Uh, understand and learn about these. Now, when we do cloud testing, we generally deploy our applications on cloud device farms. So you can learn about AWS device farm, Azure Dev Test Labs or Google Cloud Test Lab, also called as Firebase. And just in case you are completely new to cloud uh, platforms and computing, you can go on my website. Some time ago, I have written uh, stories about this. So if you go to automationstepbystep.com and you go to the stories section from here, it will take you to the stories page. And here I had written a story about uh, cloud computing and cloud services. So you can read this one where I have explained about infrastructure as a service, platform as a service and software as a service. So this will help you a lot. And then uh, this story, which is on cloud computing, this will also help you to understand the cloud platforms and cloud computing. So here, this one again will help you to understand what is cloud computing and all these services, uh, AWS, Google Cloud Platform, Microsoft Azure, and all these models. So this will be a starting point for you to understand the cloud platforms and the cloud services. Now, next, you should learn about the test management uh, platforms and tools. If you have already used any test management tool, that is good. Otherwise, you can learn about any tools like Zephyr, TestTail, TestLink, Qtest, etc. And then in cloud testing, we deploy services on the cloud and uh, monitoring of these applications and services is a very, very important part of cloud testing. So you should have knowledge of some monitoring tools. Some of the common tools that you can learn are New Relic, Datadoc, App Dynamics, and there are many others. So uh, have a look into these monitoring tools. Next, again, uh, when we use services on the cloud and deploy our applications on the cloud, performance of these application and services is very, very important part of cloud testing and therefore you should have some knowledge of the performance and load testing tools. So you can look into JMeter, Gatling, uh, LoadRunner, K6, any of these you can learn and that will really help you in your career in cloud testing. And then again, security is again a very, very important part of cloud testing. So you can take the next step and learn any of the security testing tools like Burp Suite, Acunetics, Tenable, and there are many others. So if you have knowledge of uh, one of these tools from each category, that will really help you to take your next step towards your career in cloud testing. Now, after this, next thing you should do is 
uh, have some understanding about these uh, cloud services. I have already discussed this and uh, the story that I just showed you, you can start from there and you will have an understanding of how we manage services, how we create services on the cloud and how these services are distributed. How do we use the cloud computing and cloud service model? So we can have platform as a service, infrastructure as a service or software as a service. So having an understanding of these things will take you to the next step. And then uh, you can learn about uh, after or having all this knowledge, then you can start learning about cloud testing in specific. So you can take some courses, you can take some tutorials online and then learn about what is cloud testing? How exactly do we do cloud testing? You can do some hands-on, you can take some uh, projects, you can create some personal projects and that will really give you a good hands-on experience on how do we do cloud testing. And that will be a very, very important step in your career for cloud test engineer or in cloud testing. And after this, once you reach this stage, then you can consider taking some certifications. You will find several certifications from uh, AWS, Azure, and Google for cloud testing and cloud professionals. And then there is certified cloud testing professional CCTP certification. There is certified cloud security professional CCSP certification. So once you have reached this stage, you can then consider taking any of these certifications. And uh, when, when you take these certifications, make sure that uh, you have already done some hands-on, some good hands-on by this stage, and you already have knowledge of all the basic concepts and everything is clear with you, and then you can take these certifications. Next, you can consider joining some professional organizations like uh, CNCF, which is Cloud Native Computing Foundation and CSA Cloud Security Alliance. This will help you to keep up to date with all the developments in the cloud testing space. And with this, you can really make a very, very good career in the field of cloud testing. I hope this was useful. If you have any questions for me for the next episode of Ask Raghav, you can let me know in the comment section below. And I will see you soon. Thank you for watching and never stop learning.